Welcome back to ASVAB Drill. Today, we're going to talk about the basic number properties for algebra. So let's get right into it. Remember when we learned a few different mathematic properties and how they pertain to numbers? Let's learn how they will be important in algebra when manipulating variables. The most important of these properties will be the distributive property. This tells us how a number can be distributed across a parenthetical sum or difference. This didn't matter too much for arithmetic because 4 times the quantity of 2 plus 3 is certainly equal to 4 times 2 plus 4 times 3. But there is nothing stopping us from adding 2 and 3 first and then multiplying by 4. We should get 20 no matter what method we should choose. But with algebra, there are variables that must remain as they are and can't be combined with numbers. So if we have 4 times the quantity of 2x plus 3, the only other meaningful way to express this is by distributing the 4 across the sum. That will give us 4 times 2x plus 4 times 3, which will simplify to 8x plus 12. Other properties that also apply include the commutative property for addition and multiplication. 2 plus 3 is the same as 3 plus 2. 2 times 3 is the same as 3 times 2. If these become algebraic terms, the commutative property applies the same exact way. The order in which we add or multiply algebraic terms is irrelevant. 2x plus 3 is the same as 3 plus 2x. And 2x times 3 is the same as 3 times 2x. However, let's recall that the commutative property does not apply to subtraction or division. We also learned about the associative property, and that will apply in algebra as well. To be thorough, let's also check out some other properties that you might see on the ASVAB. For instance, the additive identity property. This says that you can add or subtract zero to any number or algebraic term, and it will retain its identity. 5 plus 0 is 5. 3x minus 0 is 3x. Seems obvious, but it will come in handy. The multiplicative identity property works the same exact way, except with the number 1 instead of 0. Any number or algebraic term times 1 will give you the same term again. 4x times 1 is 4x. And lastly, we have the inverse property of addition. This says that anything plus its additive inverse equals 0. So x plus negative x equals 0. That's pretty much all we need to know in terms of number properties for algebra. Alright guys, that's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe if you want more videos just like this. And give us a like too.